One of the most relaxing things that you can do in amateur astronomy is go out and enjoy a meteor shower. You don't need any complicated equipment or expensive telescopes. All you need is yourself and a clear, dark sky to enjoy the show. In today's video, we're going to talk about when and where you need to look to see the best meteor shower of the year, the Geminid meteor shower. This event can put out up to 120 meteors per hour on a good year, and even though the weather is really cold for a lot of us, it's one of the best experiences that we get of the year. If you enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. But most importantly, let me know about your questions and experiences with the Geminid meteor shower in the comments section below. Let's get started by talking about some tips and tricks to help maximize the number of meteors that you can see this December. My first piece of advice for experiencing meteor showers would be to get to as dark of a site as possible to view them. Now, I know that's difficult for a lot of us these days, but the difference between a good and great experience with a meteor shower often has more to do with the lights around us than the lights that we're looking at above. Second, be sure to take a lounge chair or a blanket and go into your backyard or an open field to look at as much of the sky as possible in a comfortable way. Third, don't rush this event. If you go out for 10 or 15 minutes, you're probably going to be disappointed at what you see. Even for a great meteor shower like this, the average is typically one to three meteors per minute. Take some coffee, take some hot chocolate, take a beverage of your choice, and relax and enjoy at least an hour or two outside to experience the show. The best time to go out and observe the Geminid meteor shower is going to be on the night of December 13th into the early morning of December 14th. If you go outside around 11 p.m. and look to the east, you'll want to look up until you find the constellation Gemini. It's going to be from this location that the meteors are going to appear to be streaking from through the nighttime sky. As you're outside waiting for the peak of the meteor shower and possibly freezing in the process, try to remember how remarkable these events actually are. You're looking at a piece of a comet or an asteroid traveling through our atmosphere at incredible speeds, leaving the streak of a meteor shower for us to see below. If you're able to get out and experience the Geminids, please let me know how that experience was in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.